ಗೋಪಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಜನ ರಾಧಿಕ ರಾಮನ ಭುವನ ಸುಂದರ ಭೋರ ಗೋಪೇ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಜನ ರಾಧಿಕ ರಾಮನ ಭುವನ ಸುಂದರ ಭೋರ ರಾವಣ ಥಾಕೋರ ಮಕನ ತಸ್ಕರ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ವಸ್ತ್ರ ಹಾರಿ ರಾವಣ ಥಾಕೋರ ಮಕನ ತಸ್ಕರ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ವಸ್ತ್ರ ಹಾರಿ ಬ್ರಜರ ರಾಕಲ ಗೋಪ ವೃಂದ ಪಾಲ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹರಿ ವಂಶಿ ಜಾರಿ ರಾಜರ ರಾಕಲ ಗೋಪ ವೃಂದ ಪಾಲ ಚಿತ್ತ ಹರಿ ವಂಶಿ ಜಾರಿ ಯೋಗೇಂದ್ರ ಬಾಂಧನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂಧನ ಪ್ರಜ ಜನ ಪಾಯ ಯೋಗೇಂದ್ರ ಬಾಂಧನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಪ್ರಜ ಜನ ಪಾಯ ನಾವೀನ ನೀರದ ರೂಪ ಮನೋಹರ ಮೋಹನ ವಂಶಿ ವಿಹಾರಿ ನಾವೀನ ನೀರದ ರೂಪ ಮನೋಹರ ಮೋಹನ ಬಂಶಿ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಯಶೋರ ನಂದನ ಕಂಸ ನಿಶೂಧನ ನಿಕುಂಜ ರಾಸ ವಿಲಾಸಿ ಯಶೋಧ ನಂದನ ಕಂಸ ನಿಶೂಧನ ನಿಕುಂಜ ರಾಸ ವಿಲಾಸಿ ಕಾದಂಬ ಖಾನನ ರಸ ಪರಾಯನ ವೃಂದ ಬಿತಿ ನಿವಾಸಿ ಕಾ 
Ananda Vardana Premani Ketana Kulashara Yoja Katana Ananda Vardana Premani Ketana Ananda Vardana Premani Ketana Kulashara Yoja Katana Ananda Vardana Premani Ketana Kulashara Yoja Katana Gopanga Nagana Chitta Vinodana Samasta Guna Gana Dhamma Gopanga Nagana Chitta Vinodana Samasta Guna Gana Dhamma Gopanga Nagana Chitta Vinodana Samasta Guna Gana Dhamma Yamuna Jeevana Kele Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kele Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kele Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kheri Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Namashudara Skoa Krishna Yash Rako Vachana Manamora Namashura Ras Go Krishna Yas Rako Vachana Mana Mora Vibhavari Shesha Aloka Pravesha Nidra Chariyata Jeeva Vibhavari Shesha Aloka Pravesha Nidra Chariyata Jeeva Vibhavari Shesha Aloka Pravesha Nidra Chari Yota Jeeva Jeeva Vare Shesha Aloka Pavisha Nidra Chari Yota Jeeva Bolo Hari Hari Mokonda Morari Rama Krishna Haya Jeeva Mokonda Morari Rama Krishna Haya Griva Tolo Hare Hare Mokonda Morari Rama Krishna Haya Griva Nitta
गाय गोर हरी बो Translation。嗯，那读，你你来读，读那中文。黑夜结束，黎明的曙光打破夜空，个体灵魂啊，停止睡眠，歌唱主给哈尔的圣名，他是解脱的赐予者，马杜摩的敌人，自尊的享乐
Jai Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Naram Chaiva Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Devim Sarasvati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudirayat Tato Jaya Mudirayat Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Ir Bhavati Naishtaki Bhakti Ir Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 11, Chapter number 26 and this morning, text number 30. We are reading the Bhaktim Labdavata Labdavata Sado Sado Kim Kim Anyad Anyad Avashishyate Avashishyate Mai Mai Ananta Ananta Gune, Gune, Brahmani, Brahmani, Ananda Nubhavatmani, Ananda Nubhavatmani, Ananda Nubhavatmani, Ananda Nubhavatmani, Bhaktim Labda. Vadatta sadho sadho Bhakti labda vata sadho Bhakti labda vata sadho Bhakti labda vata sadho Kim anyad avashishyate Kim anyad avashishyate Kim anyad avashishyate Kim anyad avashishyate Mayananta gune brahmane Mayananta gune brahmane Mayananta gune brahmane Mayananta gune brahmane Anandano Bhavatmani Anandano Bhavatmani Anandano Bhavatmani Anandano Bhavatmani Bhaktim Labdavata Sadho Bhaktim Labdavata Sadho 
Him Anyad Avashishyate Mayananta Gune Brahmani Anandanu Bhavatmani Anandanu Bhavatmani Bhaktim Labdavata Sadho Bhaktim Labdavata Sadho Kim Anyad Avashishyate Kim Anyad Avashishyate Mayananta Gune Brahmani Anandano Bhavatmani Anandano Bhavatmani Bhatin Lakta Bhatta Sado Bhatin Lakta Bhatta Sado Kimman Yadra Bhatta Shishate Kimman Yadra Bhatta Maya Bhaktim, Bhaktim. Devotion, devotional service to the Supreme Lord. Labdavata, Labdavata. Who has achieved? Who has achieved? Sado, Sado for the devotee. For the devotee. 对奉献者来说, 对奉献者来说, Kim. Kim. What? 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 
my my to me to me 对我对我 Anantagune Anantagune whose whose qualities are countless whose qualities are countless 谁的品质数不胜数谁的品质数不胜数 Brahmani Brahmani to the absolute truth. 对绝对真理。Ananda Ananda of ecstasy of ecstasy 狂喜的狂喜的。Anubhava Anubhava the experience the experience 体验体验。Atmani, Atmani, who comprises, who comprises, 谁组成，谁组成 Translation. What what more remains to be accomplished for the perfect devotee after achieving devotional service unto the supreme absolute truth? Whose qualities are innumerable, and who am the embodiment of all ecstatic experience. 译文：我至尊绝对真理是一切狂喜体验的化身，其品质数不胜数。在获得对奉献服务之后，完美的奉献者还有什么要去实现的呢？ Purport: Devotional service to Lord Krishna is so pleasing that a pure devotee cannot desire anything except service to the Lord. In the tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, Lord Krishna told the gopis that they. Would have to accept their own service as the ultimate reward of their devotion to him, since nothing, since nothing awards as much happiness and knowledge as devotional service itself. When one. Sincerely chants and hears the holy name and fame of Lord Krishna, the heart is purified, and gradually one can appreciate the actual blissful nature of Krishna consciousness, loving service to the Lord. 要旨。对主 Krishna 的奉献服务十分宜人悦人，故而纯粹奉献者别无他求。除了对主的服务之外，在《圣典博伽瓦谭》第十篇，主 Krishna 告诉勾皮们，要把他们自身的服务接受为他们对主的奉爱的终极回报，因为。没有什么能给人以奉献服务本身带来的相同快乐与知识。当人正认真的唱诵、聆听主 Krishna 的圣名和名声时，心灵受到净化，并能逐渐欣赏、了解 Krishna 之觉，即对主的奉爱服务真实而充盈喜乐的本性。Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshur Militanye Nathas My Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kathamayam Dadati swapadanti kam, bande ham shri karo shri yata pada kamalam, shri karun vaishnavamsya, shri rupam sakrajatam, sahagana raganathan vitam tam sajevam. 
साध्वैतम सावधुतम परिचना साहितम कृष्णा चैतन्य देवम श्रीराधा कृष्णा पदन सहागना लविता श्री विशाकानितम स्या हे कृष्णा करना सिंधु दीना बंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कंठा राधा कंठा नमस्ते ताप्त कांचना गोरंगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणामामि हरि प्रिये वंशकौपाथ्यपतिभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नम ओं विष्णु पदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नमने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्शेष शून्यवादी पश्चात जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधारीवासदे गौरबाकविंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग उदवा About the nature of devotional service. 主 Krishna 教导乌德瓦奉献服务的本性是什么 ？He is describing that a person who has achieved pure devotional service does not want anything else. 嗯，他描述说，谁要是获得了奉献服务，就别无他求了。Only devotional service can fully satisfy the self. Lord Chaitanya also says a similar thing in the Shikshastikam. Lord Chaitanya in the Shikshastikam also says a similar thing in the Shikshastikam. Right? Who knows which verse? Who knows which verse? Every morning we are reciting Shikshastikam. Because we are reciting Shikshastikam. Right? So which verse describes the Shikshastikam? Right? So which verse describes Lord Chaitanya Singh doesn't want anything. He only wants devotional service. 在第几个世界呢？主柴太娘表达说，他别无所求，他只想要奉爱服务。第四个世界。第四个世界。嗯嗯。第四个世界。Yes, right. Number four. Nadanam, Najanam, Nasundarim, Kavitamva, Jagadishakamaye. मम जन्मनि जन्मनिश्वरे भवतद् भक्तिर आय लॉर्ड चीतन यू से ही डेसेंट वांट वेल्थ ही डेसेंट वांट फॉलोअर्स एंड ही डेसेंट वांट प्रेज ही जस्ट वांट्स डिवोशनल सर्विस बर्थ आफ्टर बर्थ जूसा था ना शो था बु शांग आउ चाइ फु बु शांग आउ ट्रीस ट्रीस जे ये बु शांग आउ म जून जूंग जान मे And he, the devotee who has achieved pure devotion doesn't even ask for liberation. He 达到了纯粹奉献服务的奉献者，甚至连解脱也不要了。We get people saying, "Oh, I just want to get out of this world. I don't want to come back in this world." Oh, 有的人就说。呃，我真想离开这个物质世界，我再也不想回物质世界了。But for the pure devotee, everywhere is the spiritual world. 但是对纯粹奉献者
哪里都是灵性世界。He sees everywhere in relation to Krishna. 他看到每个地方都是跟 Krishna 有关的。And he sees Krishna in the hearts of all living entities. 他在所有生物的心中也看见 Krishna. And so the pure devotee is not interested in liberation. 纯粹的奉献者，所以就对解脱不感兴趣了。He's already got something much more than liberation. 因为他已经得到了，他得到的事物呢是，超过了解脱了。Hmm. Iha ya dashi karmana manasagira nikilas pati avastas tu jivan mukta sauchate. That one who uses the body and the mind and the words in the service of the supreme, then they're already liberated souls. 谁要是将躯体、感官、心意都用来服务至尊主，那么他已经是一个在世的解脱灵魂。A devotee who's doing devotional service is experiencing the blissful nature of devotional service. 从事奉爱服务的奉献者会体验到奉爱服务的极乐本性。So devotees are not just only known as Hari Krishnas; they are also known as Happy Krishnas. 奉献者不仅仅是以 Hari Krishna 人士而著称，还以就快乐的 Krishna 的人士而著称。Because they're under, they're experiencing the spiritual energy. And the nature of the spiritual energy is joyful. Because they have experienced the spiritual energy, and the spiritual energy is joyful. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the mind, the more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. The more we are in consciousness of the body and of the material world. But the more we're in touch with Krishna and the spiritual energy, then we will experience ecstasy. We 越是接触 Krishna， 接触灵性的能量，就越能感体验到狂喜之情。Then the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna talks about Brahma Buddha. It's the one who is. Brahma Buddha means they know Brahman. They know what is the spirit. Then they are Prasan Atma. They become joyful souls. 在佛教放歌，嗯，主 Krishna 就说，首先他说 Brahma Buddha 就是谁要是已经是觉悟到呃灵魂的层面，那么他就是 Prasan Atma， 他就是一个充盈喜乐的灵魂。Shri Prabhupada had one servant who was with him, but Prabhupada noticed the servant was very miserable, very morose, and depressed looking. Looked very unhappy. So, so Prabhupada said to him, "You cannot be in Krishna consciousness if you are morose." 就是 Prabhupada 有一个仆人 ，Prabhupada 发现呢，这个仆人呢。嗯，总是一脸苦相，特别闷闷不乐的样子，不开不开心的样子。帕帕德就跟他说：“说你这样子是不可能处在 Krishna 之觉当中的。” Devotees are always joyful souls. 奉献者们总是充盈喜乐的灵魂。When they're properly engaged in devotional service, then they will experience that pleasure. 当他们正确的从事奉爱服务的时候，就会体验到快乐。But sometimes we have to appreciate the nature of that happiness, that it can appear as distress. 但是有的时候呢，我们也能够领会到，就这种快乐，有的时候它表现的好像是痛苦的样子。Just like the gopis. Are feeling always separation from Krishna. 就像牧牛姑娘，她们总是满怀对 Krishna 的分离之情。They're always thinking, "Where is Krishna? When is he coming?" 他们总是想 ，Krishna 在哪里？他何时才能来 ？And they're crying for Krishna. They're shedding tears. 
他们在为 Krishna 而流泪而哭泣。That is the greatest ecstasy. 而这是最大的、最崇高的狂喜。When you can cry for Krishna, that is success. 当谁要是能为 Krishna 而流泪而哭泣的时候，他就成功了。So Shri Prabhupada talks in、oh, this purple. Actually, purple is not by Prabhupada; it's by Prabhupada's disciples. Eleventh canto, Prabhupada had departed from the world, and it, the purports are written by Prabhupada's disciple. 实际上，第十一篇呢，呃，是圣帕帕德的门徒，这个要旨是他门徒写的。帕帕德当时已经。引记了，所以是他的门徒写了第十一篇的要旨。So in the purport, they talk about how Lord Krishna could not repay the gopis. 在要旨当中就说，主 Krishna 告诉 gopi 们，他无法嗯偿还欠他们的债。The gopis gave everything for Krishna. 母牛姑娘已经把一切都献给了 Krishna 了。They sacrificed their chastity for Krishna. 他们甚至把他们的贞洁也牺牲了。The chastity of a woman is the most valuable thing to a woman. 对女子来说呢，贞洁是最珍贵的事物。And the gopis sacrificed that chastity for Krishna. 而牧牛姑娘为了 Krishna， 甚至连贞洁也这个品质也牺牲了。They left their homes. They risked leaving their family and their children all for Krishna. 他们离离开家，他们为了 Krishna， 甚至冒着嗯嗯放弃自己的家庭，放弃自己孩子的危险。They they took the risk of being condemned and rejected by society. Because of their devotion to Krishna. 嗯，由于他们对 Krishna 的奉爱，他们甚至不惜冒着被社会抛弃、唾弃的危险。嗯 ，Krishna was calling them. Krishna would go to the forest in Vrindavan in the night, and he would play the flute. And when the gopis would hear the sound of Krishna's flute, they would know, oh, Krishna's in the forest. And they would all want to go to be with Krishna. Krishna 就深更半夜的就吹起笛子召唤 Krishna。当牧牛姑娘听闻 Krishna 的笛音，就知道哦 ，Krishna 在那里。Krishna is a cowherd boy. Cowherd boys always carry flutes with them to call the cows. 因为 Krishna 是个牧牛，是牧牛童。牧牛童呢，他们总是随身带着。But Lord Krishna's flute playing was a very special. It was very captivating. 但是 Krishna 的吹起的笛子的时候呢，是独一无二的，是特别迷人的。And everyone who heard the sound of Krishna's flute, they would just become stunned and overwhelmed with the vibration was so powerful. 谁要是听见 Krishna 的笛音的话，他们立刻就变得目瞪口呆、呆若木鸡，因为这笛音太有力量了。And、so the gopis heard the sound of Krishna's flute, and they put down their babies. They even stopped putting on their makeup, and they stopped putting on their earrings to go to go immediately to be with Krishna. 一旦 Krishna， 嗯、呃，牧牛姑娘听到 Krishna 的笛音的话。他们立刻就停止照顾他们的婴孩，他们甚至也不涂脂抹粉，也不戴耳环，立刻奔向 Krishna. No,、yeah. one gopi was putting on her earrings, and she heard the sound of Krishna's flute. She only got one earring on. She just went anyway. She didn't bother to put on the other earring. 一位牧牛勾勾皮们。正在那戴耳环，他戴了一只耳环之后，他听见 Krishna 吹笛子，他就也不不戴另外一只了，马上就出门跑了，跑向 Krishna. And the other gopi was painting the face, and she heard Krishna. She she only painted half the face. She went to Krishna. 另一位 gopi 呢，正在画这个装饰他的脸，他是装饰了半只脸。
，然后他就听了笛音之后，也不管另外半半张脸，马上就奔奔向 Krishna。They were so eager to be with Krishna. 他们太迫切的想和 Krishna 在一起。So they sacrificed everything for Krishna. 他们为了 Krishna 已经献身了，献出了一切。Because at that time, in the society, it was very, the people were very strict with the young girls. They wouldn't let them go and associate with young boys. 在那个时代，呃，社会呢是非常严格、苛刻的，绝对禁止年轻的女子和年轻的男子在一起。And here are the gopis. Some of the gopis are already married, and still they're going to be with Krishna in the forest. Now, now, some of the gopis, 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 some Naparaiham, he said, I cannot repay you. So the gopis, then, um, Krishna, to gopis, said, I, I, I can't repay you. Now, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, As you surrender, I reward you accordingly. So Krishna, in the Bhagavad Gita, said. 我按照一个人向我对我的皈依程度给予相应的回报。So Krishna was saying that he would give as we give to Krishna, Krishna will give in return. 所以这个意思就是说，我们给 Krishna 多少 ，Krishna 就回报我们多少。You think of Krishna ten minutes, Krishna will think of you fifteen minutes. 你要是想 Krishna 十分钟。Krishna 就想着你十五分钟。You think of Krishna eight hours a day. Krishna will think of you nine hours a day. 如果你要是思念，把八个小时用来思念 Krishna， Krishna 就用九个小时思念你。Krishna returns whatever you give to him. 无论你给他什么 ，Krishna 都会回报的。But the gopis gave everything to Krishna. 可是 gopis 们把一切都给了 Krishna 了。So Krishna, how I, how I, I, I cannot give everything back to them. I have to give back more than what I. How can I ever repay them? It's impossible. So Krishna 就想，我怎么我怎么能回报他们呢？我怎么能给他们更多的回报呢？这是不可能的。So he asked them. He said, "Since I cannot repay you, I request you just be satisfied." With your own devotional service, Krishna. So Krishna 就对木牛姑娘表达说，既然我没办法偿偿还欠下你们的，那我就希望你们能对你们自己的服务感到满足。Because I don't have, I'm not able to give you anything equal to what you have given me. 因为你们给予我的呢，我我无法。给予你们相应的回报了，已经。So just be happy with your devotion, with your service to me. 所以你们就只是对你们自己给我的服务，你们感到开心快乐。So just like devotees serving here in Hong Kong, they're serving the deities and cooking every day, a lot of work. 就像香港的。当地的奉献者们每天为神像做饭，每天做很多的各式各样的服务。So, are they get? They're not getting anything really in return for all their service. 实际上呢，他们所做的所有这些服务呢，他们没有得到什么呃报偿。But they're satisfied with the service itself. It gives so much pleasure to them. 但是他们对于他们所做的服务已经感到非常满足了。Some often in the morning, Mongol Arti, there will only be one person at the Arti. 有时候，呃，在蒙古拉尔提的时候呢，只有一个人在在阿尔提的现场。But the Arti is performed every day. 但是仍然每天早上都有阿尔提。And every day. Devotees will cook 
and make the offerings for the deities. 每一天，奉献者们都会烹饪，为神像供供奉食物。And every day, change the dresses for the deities. 他们天天一天不落的为神像，呃，换衣服。Put on a fresh dress every morning, and then put on the night dress in the evening. 每天早上穿上新衣服，晚上穿上睡衣。So devotees. Have to be satisfied with that service themselves. 奉献者们呢，他们只能，他们应该是对于他们所做的这些服务感到满意。That they're just so happy that they can do that service for Krishna. 只要他们能为 Krishna 做这个服务，他们已经心满意足了。Because Krishna himself is not able to repay for all their service. 因为 Krishna 没办法。报答他们所做的这些服务。And the devotee doesn't want any payment from Krishna. 奉献者们也并不希求 Krishna 给他们任何回报。Devotee doesn't want to ask Krishna to get anything material. 奉献者们不希望 Krishna 给他们物质的回报。And we see this example many times in the case of great devotees. 我们在很多情况下看到伟大的奉献者们都是这样。Just like Prahlad Maharaj, after Lord Narsingadev had killed his father Ranjakashipu. 就像 Prahlad Maharaj， 当李世和玛雅杀死他的父亲李扎尼亚卡什普。So Lord Narsingadev then spoke to Prahlad. And he asked Prahlad to ask for some benediction. 主，你身下队伍便要求 Prahlad Maharaj 向他提出任何的嗯祝福。But Prahlad said, "I'm not a businessman." Prahlad Maharaj 回答说，我不是商人。Do you know what businessmen are like? 你们知道商人是怎么做事儿的吗？ They'll give you the goods. They want the money. 嗯，他们给给你提供货物，他们一定要钱，收费的。All right. You've got my goods. You pay me the money. 你拿了我的货物，你要给我钱。But Prahlad said, "I'm not a businessman. I I I'm not doing devotional service to get anything." Prahlad Maharaj 表达说，我不是商人，我做奉献服务不是为了获得什么。But Lord Narsingadev said, no, "No, no, you should ask something." 但是主尼山大夫坚持，普拉玛哈一定要提出一些要求。So Prahlad Maharaj said, "Well, my father tried to kill you, so he was a very bad person, my father. I, but still, he's my father. I don't want him to go to hell." 普拉玛哈扎说，我的父亲他试图杀死你。他是一个罪大恶极的人，但是作为儿子，我不希望我的父亲下地狱。Even though Prahlad's father had tried to kill him in many ways, but Prahlad didn't have any bitter feelings towards his father. 即便作为父父亲，想方设法的要残害儿子，但是 Prahlad 对他父亲呢，没有任何没有任何恶意。And he just requested Lord Narsingadev that. Please don't put my father to hell. 他只是请求主，你身上的队伍说，请不要把我的父亲放在地狱。But Lord Narsingadev said, "Oh, you don't have to worry." He said, "Your father won't go to hell because you're his son, and because you're such a good devotee. Not only your father, but for many generations, all your forefathers and ancestors will all be delivered." 主，你身上的队伍就向普拉的保证说。你不用担心你的父亲，不仅你的父亲，你的许多的、嗯、许多的祖先都因为你而不会下地狱。So Prahlad didn't ask anyone, didn't want to take anything from Lord Narsingadev. 就这样 ，Prahlad Maharaj 不想从主尼山的队伍那里得到什么好处。He said, "Just bless me that in my heart." There will be no desire for sense gratification. He said, "Please bless me. In my heart, there is no desire for sense gratification." 
So that's the mood of the pure devotee. 这是一位纯粹奉献者的心态. They may have nothing material. They may have no, no, no wealth, no property, no assets. But they have the greatest asset in devotional service. 他们可能表面上他们没有什么钱,没有财富,但是他们有最大的奉爱服务这份财富. Hmm. We see the story of Sudama, the Brahmana, who went to visit Lord Krishna in Dwarka. 我们知道那位婆罗门,Sudama,去Dwarka,去看望Krishna. And he was such a poor brahmana. Usually brahmanas would beg, but Sudama wouldn't beg. He would just say, well, if we're meant to get something, we will get it by the grace of God. Why should I go and ask people to give me? If I meant to have it, they will give it to me without me asking. 如果他们要给我什么的话, 我不用开口, mm. So Sudama and his wife, they're very poor. Sudama和他的妻子一贫如洗. So Sudama's wife told Sudama that you know you went to school with Krishna. Why don't you go and visit Krishna? Go and see him. He's in Dwarka. You can go there and visit him. But Sudama said, Well, if I'm going to go and see Krishna, then I have to take some something to give him. I have to give him some kind of present. What can I give him? We don't have anything. So his wife went to get some pieces of broken rice from a neighbor. And that was what Sudama took to give to Krishna. Sudama呢就拿着这点碎米屑就去看望Krishna. But because Sudama gave more than what he had, Sudama didn't have anything to give to Krishna. But they got from somebody else that rice to give to Krishna. So he gave more than what he had to Krishna. 因为Sudama他什么也没有,但是他现在就是从别人那里 拿了一些碎米屑，所以他现在给Krishna的呢是超过他所拥有的人事物了。So Krishna thought, how can I give him back? If he's given me more than what he has, I have to. I should give him more than what I have. Krishna就这样想着，倘若苏达玛已经给了我他超过他的财产的，他超过他拥有的这些礼物，那我也应该把。比我更比我拥有的更多的事物送给苏达玛. But if everything is mine, how can I give him more than what's mine? 但如果一一切都已经是我的了，那我又如何能把超过拥我的财产的事物给予他呢？ So Krishna gave big palace, he arranged a big palace, everything very opulent for Sudama. But he knew, he thought that he's given me more than what I'm giving to him. Krishna就安排苏达玛,就是他的房子变成了富丽堂皇的宫殿。但是苏达玛给我的是超过他所拥有的。So this is the nature of Lord Krishna, that he likes to return whatever people give to him. So Krishna's天性就是他绝对不会，他不想欠人家的，他要回报别人。But the devotee 
doesn't like to take from Krishna. 但是奉献者的本性是，他不想嗯从 Krishna 那里拿什么。Devotee likes to give to Krishna. 奉献者是希望能够给予 Krishna. A devotee, even who's doing, who's a pure devotee, he doesn't. He he understands everything is Krishna's. 纯粹的奉献者只明白一切万事万物是属于 Krishna 了。So when we do karma yoga, karma yogi thinks I'm giving this to Krishna. When we do karma yoga, karma yogi thinks I'm giving this to Krishna. When we do karma yoga, karma yogi thinks I'm giving this to Krishna. When we do karma yoga, karma yogi thinks I'm giving this to Krishna. When we do karma yoga, karma yogi thinks I'm giving this to Krishna. So I'm just giving Krishna what is His. 我只是把 Krishna 的财产给予 Krishna. So that should be the thinking of the devotee. 这应该是一位奉献者的思维 And this way, devotee is very happy. 奉献者其实他这么想，他已经非常的快乐了。In the material world, people are all miserable. They're trying to get more. 物质世界的人都很痛苦，因为他们写呃，他们的愿望越来越多。They want to get more money. They want to get the bigger house. They want to get the better car. 他们想赚更多钱，想住更大的房子，想换一个豪车。But devotee just wants devotional service. He just wants to hear and to chant and to worship Krishna. 奉献者只想聆听、唱诵、崇拜 Krishna. Kolavika Sridhar was a very poor Brahmana. Kolavika Sridhar 呢，他是一位贫穷的婆罗门。And Lord Chaitanya wanted to give him blessings. He said, "Ask whatever you like. I can give you." 主彩泰尼亚想要祝福他，就对他说：“你你向我开口提任何要求吧，我都会给你。” But Kolavika said, "No," he said, "I'm happy." He said, "Whatever income I get from my bananas, I always spend half of it to worship Mother Ganga." 但是 Kolavika 虚大而说：“嗯，我我所拥有的一切呢，我已经很满足了。” Now he had a very small income because he only had a few banana trees, a little banana fruit, some banana leaves. He didn't get much money. 但是实际上他的那个财收入很少，因为他只有一点香蕉，一一点香蕉叶子。But every day, whatever his income, he would spend fifty percent to worship Mother Ganga. 每一天，他把每一天的收入的百分之五十都拿来崇拜恒河母亲。This was his happiness. 这就是他的幸福和快乐所在。And this was very pleasing to Lord Chaitanya. 这极大的取悦了主柴檀尼亚。So we are also encouraged. We should give fifty percent for the service of Krishna. So, so, we also are encouraged. We are encouraged to give fifty percent to Krishna. I was in Dubai, and I was teaching the nectar of instruction to people in Dubai. You know, Dubai. There's a lot of Indian people there. And they're making good money. They make quite a lot of money. Quite rich people. So I was teaching them the nectar of instruction. 嗯，那我有一次呢，就去了嗯迪拜。迪拜呢，那里有很多印度人，特别特别的富有。然后，马尔就在那里讲，给他们讲教诲的甘露。So in the nectar of instruction, it talks about. Giving charity and said you should give fifty percent for the service of Krishna. 
。然后教会的纲目当中就说。So I asked them. I said, "So, how many of you are giving fifty percent?" Maharaj 就问那听课的，说你们有多少人呢？嗯，把百分之五十拿出来给 Krishna 的。And they all said, "No, no." They all said, "No, no." They all said, "No, no." Anyways, Rupa Goswami, Rupa Goswami, he was a great devotee. He retired. So when he retired, he gave fifty percent for the service of Krishna. Rupa Goswami is a great devotee. When he retired, he gave fifty percent of his service to Krishna. So when you retire, you can give fifty percent. When you retire, you can give fifty percent of your service. Okay. Any question? Yes. Hare Krishna. 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 发现他们在奉爱佛当中有这么多优秀的品质，虽然说这个品质有的时候会带着怨气啊、抱怨，那我们如何去欣赏他们，把这一切都明性化，共同进步，做好服务呢 ？Hare Krishna。我 Lupi， 我 Lupi Maharaji is very， 呃，呃 ，this morning， 呃 ，thank you for your transcendental lecture， 嗯。So in uh in this morning there's also a transcendental incident happened happened. Lupi Madaji uh is complain complaining to me that why don't you call me up uh wake me up I I came to Hong Kong to make spiritual progress, mm. and then when uh Guma is going to take a walk, he she even for for forgot to put down her shoes. And to chase after the devotees. So my question, may I ask, uh, how to? Um, uh, because sometimes there seems to be some a uh, a grudge uh, in the mood of a uh, devotee. Sometimes they will have some a little com complaint uh, in the dealing with devotees. So, um, um, my question is that uh, how? How to? How to? How to? How to better cooperate with devotees in in our devotional service? How to appreciate their good quality, even if there are some uh, small uh, this uh, grudge? We well, always we said you should look at your own faults. Don't look at others. Don't try to judge others, but look at your own faults. 嗯，就是我们已经反复的说过，嗯，不要看别人的缺点，要嗯瞄着自己的缺点，嗯，不要不要盯着别人别人身上的问题，要欣赏别人。嗯 ，We have to keep Krishna always in the center of our activities. 我们要总是把 Krishna 放在我们。全部活动的中心。We should be always thinking how I can do something for the pleasure of Krishna. 我们应该总是想着，我怎么能，我我怎么，我应该做些什么来取悦 Krishna， 让 Krishna 感到满意。So if you can please the devotees, that's a step towards pleasing Krishna. 因此呢，倘若我们能取悦奉献者，这就是朝着取悦 Krishna 迈向迈出了一步了。But if you make the devotees angry, then Krishna is not pleased. 嗯，但是如果你惹恼了 Krishna 的，呃，不是惹恼了奉献者，那 Krishna 就不不开不高兴了。So try to please the devotees. 所以，呃，所以要努力的让。奉献者感到满意，对我们满意
Mm -hmm. so how to please Krishna? We please Krishna by trying to give Krishna consciousness to others. Of course, we also make offerings to Krishna. No, we, we offer fruit and flowers and everything should be offered with love and devotion. And whatever we do, try to make it as an offering to Krishna. But we want to see Krishna not only in the deity, but he's also in the hearts of everyone. So deal respectfully with all the people, especially devotees. So we want to have nice loving relationships with devotees. So nectar of instruction tells us how to we should offer charitable offer charitable gifts and accept gifts and offer prasadam accept prasadam. Not that we should always be accepting, but we should also give sometimes. Right. It's our duty to also give, not just to receive. The saying is, it's better to give than to receive. 那么就有这样一句话,就是说,与其接受,不如去给予。So the more we have the mood to give service to the devotees, that is very nice. 我们越是有给予奉献者的这种心态,就是这样,这种心态是很好的。We don't want to take from the devotees. 我们不想从奉献者那里来总是索取,接受。People said to Prabhupada, when Srila Prabhupada went to America, they said to him, uh, Oh, you're coming from India, it's a poor country. Have you come to get some money to take back to India? Oh, and Prabhupada said, no, no, I said, I have not come to beg, I have come to give. Prabhupada said, to give you what you've forgotten, you've forgotten God, so I've come to give you God consciousness. And so this is the thinking of the devotee. Mm, we want to give. We don't need anything for our own self. We can live very simply, with practically nothing. Mm. We want to practice simple living and high thinking. So although we are here in Hong Kong, 
we devotees live simply simply in the sense that they simply live they eat some simple prasadam you know rice and dal chapati it's not very opulent food simple food Chapati. And devotee wakes up early in the morning, takes advantage of the auspicious time in the day for spiritual practice. And the day is dedicated to the service of Krishna. So, it's simple living. And the, the thinking is based on Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. And Okay. Any other question? I have a question. You have a question? Yeah, yeah. Um, 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 Yes, should be. Where did you see Jagannath without a Shandya? Where? Who had the... The deity. Where? In my home, I have the Jagannath. In your house? Yes. <laughs> No, so you make one. Make one. Yeah, you make a sudarshan and you put it on the altar. Uh, how to make, make sudarshan chakra? Well, get a picture of one and oh. see how they make it. Okay. okay. It, you can just, usually just a column of wood. Yeah, yeah. And you can paint it. Paint. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, I <音>就是我家就有这样的巴斯巴的就是马尔说我可以弄就是找一个神蝶的图片就拿一块木头然后把这个彩绘把它绘成那个神蝶的样子就是神蝶呢它是它的神像呢就是一根木头然后上面有那